Good morning, my love. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that you have stretched your body already today. I hope that yesterday was enjoyable for you. And I hope that you are in some sense content and fulfilled and excited about something, whatever that may be. Good morning. I was thinking about <clears throat> mindset and the importance of the importance of mindset in terms of how we approach things. And in specific, I was thinking of stress, which is something you have heard me mention ad nauseum. Um, you would say that you are stressed out, and I would say. Well, that is good. Your body is getting stronger. Your heart is getting stronger with your stress. In the sense that it was exercising your body, um, the stress that you felt and, and all of that. And this goes to the issue of, of teaching ourselves that something is good and the importance of mindset. And here, because, and you can look into the work that has been done on this, but uh, Kelly McGonigal has uh, talked about this a lot. And it's this idea that what you think about something actually matters. So often, especially in, in my own practices, there's a recognition that we are not our thoughts and that thinking is not acting and they're two very different things. And while that is very often true, sometimes thinking is extremely important and thinking is in a certain sense acting and stress is a perfect example of this. And that it is important to understand that stress is good for you. And even more importantly, that your belief that stress is good for you and is helping you is the key that, that makes it so. And so just, I bring that up as a reminder um, because I'm quite sure that you are stressed at times. It is part of the human condition, as they say. And to remember that that is all right. Um, and to sit in that and let it be okay. It's not hurting you, even though it may feel uncomfortable because your brain has not recognized it as simply exhilaration, which is what it is, but instead has labeled it something undesirable. And this goes into the, you know, the, the simple example of Riding a roller coaster is stressful, but it is something so many people enjoy. But what is going on in the body is the same as when you are in a moment of stress that feels like duress um, or discomfort. And it's simply how we choose to look at it with our mind that suddenly turns an unfortunate experience into an exciting and exhilarating one. So. I just thought I would remind you of that. But otherwise, I hope you are well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I am thinking about you as always. I love you.